Welcome back to the Collegian YouTube channel. Ben Free joined by Evan Patrick. Not in the Collegian office today in our homes doing this over Zoom. But here we're going to have a quick predictions video before Penn State takes on Maryland on Saturdays. The Indian Lions will look to get into the win column for the first time this season. And the Terrapins will look to pull off an upset and move to 2-1 and one on the year. So Evan, how do you see this one kind of playing out? Yeah, this is uh, it's a tough one to predict. We've been saying that all week because, I mean, Maryland has put two completely uh, different performances up so far this season. I mean, they they kind of got crushed by Northwestern in week one and then they come back and they surprised, I'd say, pretty much the entire Big Ten Conference getting that that uh, overtime win over a Minnesota team that now we have even more questions about. I mean, the Big Ten is kind of all over the place this season, but Maryland, I mean, they're, they they haven't their offense showed us a lot last week. I mean, Talia Tagovailoa, to his brother, uh, as everyone knows, he he showed that he is very much like his brother in and very composed in the in the pocket. And after a three interception performance we saw in week one, I mean, he he went out and absolutely dominated that game, kept Maryland in it, and really willed them to that victory. And so. We, you don't know what you're going to get out of this Maryland team. They, their defense really struggles, but then their rushing attack with, with Jake Funk, their redshirt senior running back, he ran for over 200 yards and averaged about 10 yards a carry last week. It's all going to come down to Penn State's defense, though, because I think Penn State can put up a lot of points on this Maryland defense. I think they're going to be able to really figure out a full four quarters of offense for once this season. Um but if, yeah, I mean, if Penn State's defense is, is able to get some key stops against an offense that really hit its stride last week, I think they're going to be able to, to win this kind of comfortably. And so I, th I think that's what is going to happen. I think we're going to see maybe some breakout performances from Jason Owa and Shaka Tony really getting to the quarterback. And I think it's a huge week for, for the Penn State linebacking core and how they're going to be able to stop the run. So in the end, I'm going to go 42 to 30 in favor of Penn State. Maryland's going to be able to put up some points, but in the end, Nittany Lions get it done. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree with you, Evan. I mean, I think this is an absolutely massive game for the Penn State defense. I think that really is where this is going to come down to. And depending on how Tylea plays, how that Maryland offense plays, how Jake Funk plays, we could really see a various different outcomes really in this game. But I think that is also the key for Penn State's offense. I mean, you're going up against a defense who has given up over 40 points in both games so far this season. I think this is the week where the Penn State offense has to figure things out. They should really have no excuse of not being able to put together a complete performance this week. Maryland has been atrocious stopping the run this season. So I think this is the week you would like to see Penn State be able to take that step forward with the offensive line with its running backs. I think this could be a big confidence boost for the likes of Devin Ford to kind of have a big game, have that big performance. But also Penn State could take some shots on the field, get some of the freshman receivers involved. I think this is a big chance for the Penn State offense to gain some confidence, get some things going and kind of put it all together against a defense that isn't quite as good as you know, Ohio State, who they played last week. But also, I think the Penn State defense is also going to have to put in a performance. They've been disappointing these first couple of weeks. I think they're going to have to come up with some big stops throughout this game. I would assume we'll see more of the Tylea. I don't think we'll see the performance he had against Minnesota, but I don't think we'll see him as bad as he was against Northwestern. Um, so I think he's still going to be a dynamic player. He's a player that is good enough, athletic enough. He can hurt you on any given play. So I think this Penn State defense is going to have to come up with a couple of big stops in this game. And I think ultimately they will end up doing it. I think Penn State does get this one done. 45 to 30 was my final score prediction. Um, and I think Penn State gets in the win column for the first time this year and kind of writes the ship a little bit as this season heads towards the halfway point. But that's going to do it for this quick hitting video. Ben Free, Evan Patrick, make sure to stay tuned for all the Collegian football coverage this weekend on our website at collegian.psu.edu and follow us on Twitter at PSU Footblog.